A woman nearly loses her life after being shot during a road rage incident along Hennepin Avenue last week. And tonight she spoke with Fox 9's Paul Bloom about this terrifying experience. And Paul, there's no way that uh, she would have ever thought it would escalate to this point. What happened to her that day? I, I mean, you really can't imagine. All of us can relate to it. You know, you're running a few minutes late to work. You're on the Bluetooth. Someone cuts you off. This woman insists all she did then was honk her horn at that vehicle that cut her off in the heart of Minneapolis in the heart of rush hour. Tonight, she is home, grateful to be alive, with a bullet lodged just three inches from her heart. I'm sorry, it's really hard because all I did was all I did was honk my horn, and he tried to kill me. Upset, angry, scared. Cat asks us not to use her full name or show her face. She's just too afraid that the men who shot her will try to track her down. And I really hope they catch these guys that did it because I can't sleep at night. What we can show you though are the bandages and the bullet holes. One tore through her stomach and is difficult to look at. Cat was shot a total of four times. This was her car following the near deadly road rage incident. The way Cat tells the story, she was heading to work down busy Hennepin Avenue. She'd missed her turn and honked at the Jeep Grand Cherokee that cut in front of her. Traffic cameras snapped several images of the suspect vehicle, described by some as beige, tan, or gold. Cat vividly remembers three people inside. Three black men, uh, one was driving. One of the passenger, uh, I did see a black handgun before he shot me. Um, he had uh, short dreads, um, light skin, skinny. The shooter was sitting in the front passenger seat. Before opening fire, Cat recalls him rolling down his window and demanding that she pull over. Five seconds later, you know, I heard pop, 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 pop. Never been shot before. I didn't really know that I was shot until I pulled up into the valet stand. I realized I had blood. I had a big hole in my arm. After the shooting, Cat was rushed to the emergency room at 8 CMC. She spent two nights here and was sent home with a couple of the bullets still lodged in her body. I have two bullets in me. I have one in my arm and my bicep, and then I have one in my shoulder, three inches from my heart. Just three inches. Kat knows she is so lucky to have survived. She just can't believe she was almost killed because she apparently did something as simple as honking her horn. We all honk. We all like, you know, somebody cuts in front of us, we honk a horn. I don't think that, you know, if you honk your horn, don't shoot back. Cat went on to tell me she hasn't been able to sleep in recent days, explaining every time she tries, she has nightmares about the eyes of the shooter. She insists she will never forget the shooter's eyes. Tonight, MPD asking for the public's help. Cat absolutely believes someone out there knows who pulled the trigger. Kelsey, Jeff.